What's going on, guys? The gentleman you see on the screen in front of you is the one and only Chili DeCastro. He's new to YouTube. He has a channel called Delete Laws. I've nicknamed him the Human Cartoon. I talk to him on a regular basis, two, three times a week. The other night, uh, we were talking, and then all of a sudden, he's huffing and puffing. I'm like, Chili, what are you doing? He's like, I'm doing sprints. It was 10 o'clock at night, and he had been out all day. He's got more energy than Energizer Bunny. He's got more tenacity than the Tasmanian Devil, and he's under the tutelage of yours truly. So, let's watch the video, because I could show you better than I could tell you. His link will be in the comments section. Beat me there. Don't meet me there. Let's watch. I teach constitutional law to hundreds of thousands and millions of people around the world. I've got 300,000 followers on TikTok, and i got about 30,000 followers on YouTube. Now, I'm in your city right now today because there's a gentleman here in the room named Yunez. And on November 10th of 2021, Yunez was pulled over by Officer Brian Holman. And Officer Brian Holman, there's a video coming out tomorrow on YouTube. It'll get 100,000 views. And it shows Brian Holman lose all control. When he asks Yunez if he's been drinking, Yunez laughs in his face because he's a conservative Muslim. He's a conservative. Our personalities are nothing alike. He wouldn't stand up here and speak to y'all. That's not how he works. He barely speaks English. He speaks Arabic. Fun fact, Uncle Disorderly also speaks Arabic. Wahad, Ethnin, Thalatha, Arba, Seta, Saba, Thamanya, Tissa, Yunez, Mush Mushkala, Shway Shway, Fijahash, Halas. And Officer Brian Holman, I, I know you guys just put a new city human resources, Deborah, into place, correct? Our new agent. And the reason why she is is because Luntz was fired, right? I'm talking about, oh, I'm sorry, police chief? Yeah. Yes, we have an interim police chief right now. So. What's that? I said we can't discuss We can't have conversations, but yes. Oh, you're welcome to talk to me. I who said we can't have conversations? Chili's a citizen, which makes him the highest ranking person there. He overruled you. It's an episode of Undercover Boss. Surprise. I the, the back and forth. So, yes, we have so tomorrow what you're going to see on the video is you're going to see Yunez put in handcuffs for 16 minutes for no reason. Because when the cop asks him, have you been drinking at 9.30 in the morning, Yunez laughs in his face because it's a joke. The cops in our, in our, in our cities, come, oh, on every county in America, are now trained to arrest you, especially because you're black. They focus on black people. Thank you. If you didn't know that, you might want to open your eyes and pay attention. Yunez happens to be a foreigner, and he moved here, and he has a green card, and he's a citizen right here, a conservative citizen, has three kids. And so when you watch the video tomorrow and you see Yunez putting handcuffs for 16 minutes, you go, oh, he was just detained. These are torture. These have been torture, and they're always torture. They were designed for torture, and they're still torture. Nothing's changed. These were made for black folks during slavery. These need to be banned in America. That's why I'm here. When you see Yunez detained for 16 and a half minutes tomorrow morning, I want you to understand that every single second that that man's in handcuffs, he's being tortured. It's literal torture. And what's the big lie? Oh, I got a finger in there, so you're not being tortured. It's absolute, total torture. When do the citizens of America stop this? We can do this with Velcro straps, strapping you in the front. There was the digital camera now. Once you get my face on camera, I'm not gonna fight anybody. Most people will calm right down. And Yunez, by the way, you'll see the video tomorrow. It's on Delete Laws. That's the name of my YouTube page, Delete Laws with a Z on the end of it. I don't like or respect cops. And now you guys got a blue flag flying over on Gateway with a blue stripe on it. Let me just tell you something. Maybe not in this room, but half of the people. There's nine seconds left on the shot clock. Do you think the new age Paul Revere is going to be done with his speech in the next nine seconds? Let's watch. See, that's the terrorist flag. Half the people here, see that guy right there? See the, the people who wear uniforms that are cops as terrorists. I see them as absolute terrorists. They detain you and arrest you for no reason. This council has the opportunity, I know it is, but this city council has an opportunity to do something about this. And let me just say something, just so you know, we're going to file civil litigation if Holman's not fired. If Holman's not relieved from duty and he's not reprimanded, we're suing the city. And you guys hired a city manager so that you could, you could avoid litigation. I read about it. I don't care if you kill my mic. It's not the point. We won't be silenced, ever. This has to change, and you have the opportunity to change it. So then change it. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. And the blue striped flag over there on Gateway has got to go. Who the hell do you think you are flying a blue flag? All the former cops in here, you don't get a memorial forever. It's time to change it. I don't want to see a blue terrorist. I, I, I'm upset. 
and I have a right to redress my government. I'm sorry my three minutes is up, but I'm sick of it. And it starts here in Texas. All the lynching started here. You black folks, listen to what I'm telling you. If you keep allowing police power to be spread and spread and spread, it'll never stop. That blue terrorist flag on Gateway is going down again. I'm going to tear it down again. Sir. Okay, I understand. I'm upset. For, forgive me for being upset. You got a terrorist right back here. This man's a terrorist. He takes people to a dungeon. He tortures them. You're, oh, yeah, who, who said that? Hey, listen, I'll see you there. What was said by somebody in the audience, uh, they said some to the, it's the fact that uh, they'll be putting the flag right back up. I'll see you there. Don't, Mr. Castro, go. Oh, what, what, are you going to put your hands on me? No, I'm asking you gonna touch you to leave. Me? You're interfering, you're touch with the, me? You're interfering with the Listen, meeting. shut your mouth. We need you to leave. Shut your mouth. Yeah, okay, well, don't to touch to me, dude. I'm walking out the door. I have a right I'm to not touch me. Don't I'm not touch touching. me. I'll walk out the door. You don't got a man up on me. I'm you're asking you I'm a full-grown man. Yes, sir. I'm asking you then to Then don't touch me. I have not Why yet. am I upset? Please leave. Okay, why am I upset? Because you terrorized a man. You put him in torture. Yes, have you been, been, been putting cuffs? You've been putting cuffs? You've been putting cuffs? Huh? Have any of you guys been putting cuffs for 15 minutes? Put them behind your back for 15 minutes and then tell me how you feel. Oh, Sorry. shut up, you terrorist. Sir, if you don't leave. I got it. Don't put your, don't put your hands on me. You stepped into me. You stepped into me. Don't touch me, dude. Sir, let's set this one. All right, but don't put your, don't even bump into me. If you would walk, I wouldn't touch you. Okay. You said I was going, go. I'm outside the city council. I'm, I'm in a public building now. I can't be trespassed. Okay. You understand that? No this one is, has this is a public you. building. Sir, no one has Have trespassed. you been putting torture cuffs for 15 minutes? I'm not going to get it. Have you been putting torture cuffs for 15 minutes? Have you ever had these behind Sir. your back for 15 minutes? Sir. Yes or no? Have you, coward? Sir, you are interfering. You are such a coward. You put these on people so liberally, as though it's just fine. It's not fine. Sir. And that blue terror flag comes down. You're interfering with a public what, meeting you, you, at this You're point. a firefighter. Do you don't, realize, don't talk to him. Do you realize that is an offense? Oh, listen, I'm leaving. Do but you, you have realize? to give me a chance to I leave have. number one. We've given you multiple chances. I'm not allowed, allowed to be upset and redress the government? Yes, I am. Sure. I'm upset. I'm not throwing punches. I'm not cursing anybody. The blue terror flag's got to go. Handcuffs got to go, coward. Understood. Take off the badge and gun and look at me that way. See how you do. Back, dude, don't don't walk up on me. I'm leaving. I'm walking out. Go on, terrorist. Do you understand what you signed up to do? You're an absolute scum bucket, dude. And you enforcing this garbage like this stuff here. Have you been in these? Yes or no? Have you been putting torture cuffs? Yes or no? Have you been putting torture cuffs? Oh no, you're 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 not answering the questions because you're a coward. Have you been putting torture cuffs for 15 minutes? Yes or no? Yes or no? There's thousands watching. Why are you raising your voice? Because I'm so sick of being nice. But you're not trying to have a dialogue. Okay, do you want to have a dialogue? Let me try it like this. Have you been put in torture cuffs for 15 minutes? Have you been put in torture cuffs for 15 minutes? You think I'm going to take a swing at you? No, but but I don't need to talk to you. You think I'm going to take a swing at you? Really? To do that? Any of you coward pigs. You guys are terrorists. You put these on people and you torture them. This is not detainment, it's torture. Now, I'm upset. Because this man was tortured. You don't watch his video tomorrow. You're like, oh, he was just putting handcuffs. No big deal. Have you been put in them? Yes or no? And I'll leave. Have you been put in them? Yes, yes or no? Yes, been placed in them. Okay, okay, can I put them on you? We're not going to go any further with that. Right. Oh, yeah, we're not going to discuss yeah, it any what, further. What you're wanting is, is to continue to dialogue. Oh, no, no. I time. want people to see that you are a freaking coward. That you would so, so liberally allow these to be put on people, but you've never had them on for 15 okay. minutes. You're That's what I'm saying. with the meeting right now? The meeting's still going on. You took a five minute break. The five minutes isn't up. Okay, you're interfering with the meeting right now? Oh. That is against the law. No. Oh. We're going to try to pre presume this meeting. Mm. I'm not allowed with, to be upset. With, I'm getting... not allowed to watch a man be tortured. No, you're not oh. allowed to. You're not allowed to. I'll, 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 lower, I'll lower my voice for you. Is that better? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Well, you're, that not, better? you're not allowed to disrupt a meeting that we're trying to have. I didn't that... disrupt the meeting. I'm here for public commentary. And that and was my three minutes was... and it's done. Do you think three minutes is enough time to redress handcuffs? It's you wouldn't been, know. It's what's allowed. How many times have you been putting handcuffs, kid? You signed up to be a terrorist. You're young enough, you can change this. You can quit now and do something good with your life. People hate you, dude. People just quiet about it because they're afraid. They're afraid of the government. But people hate your guts, bro. Literally half of the people hate you. And now you probably died in the wool, died in blue. These have got to go. The blue flag stripes got to go. You're the most hateful person I've ever seen in my life. Am I really? No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, 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 I'll go ahead. What, what are you saying? What are you saying? No, what are you saying? Let me have a conversation. Go, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll have a conversation with you. Go ahead. I'm not going to yell at you. No, no, you, you, you address me, sir. If you haven't noticed, he asked me to calm my voice down because he said, 
Yeah, they're not. Tell them they're terrorists. Have you been putting these handcuffs? For I have. Okay, then turn around. Let's put them on you. Fifteen minutes. Why are you being so hateful? Well, I'm, have, I'm have, hateful. Have a conversation. This man right here and this man right here. If they, they if they decide I've broken a city statute, they'll take me to a dungeon where I can be raped and but strip I, searched. But, I'm not. Oh, but you just said you you oh you, the blue flag's gonna go right back up. I'll you, put it on. For what? Why not? Because it's a terrorist it's flag. It's your right to take it down. It's my right to put it back up. Okay, fine. And we can just keep doing that. No, I understand. And what we don't saying, We don't have to have a physical... I'm, I'm and look at you, a, Briggs, jumping in on this guy, I'm and you're talking... He's the man who was tortured. Have a good conversation. You're a firefighter. Civilly with somebody. If, if you want to presume the council media... Yeah. Listen, I just, I, just, I, just want, I just wanted to be clear. Sure, it's I, crystal. I, I, just, crystal. I just wanted to be clear. You're asking yeah. me to stop yelling. It's crystal. Because I didn't want me to just the meeting, so what did I do? I stopped screaming because I'm upset. Clearly, I'm upset. I've watched this guy's video for a week straight as I cut it into pieces, section by section, frame by frame. Holman lost his cool when he accused him of drinking at 9.30 in the morning, and he laughed. And for that, Holman put him in torture cuffs and left him there for 16 minutes, knowing he was no danger. What's going to happen to Holman? Is there going to be any redress? Uh, there's an internal investigation that's being looked at right now. Okay, but then was it, oh, he just got put in handcuffs. But then again, you don't consider these to be torture. And that's why I'm here. That's what I'm doing here. Sure. That's why I'm in your city right now. And from here, I go to Arkansas and Louisiana. You know why? It's ubiquitous. These are torturing people around the country. And you think, you think you're part of the good guys. That's the thing. That's hilarious. You go down in history as being a Nazi. Just so you know. People if will write about know, you in history. If you don't know who we are in our department, oh, yeah. I would suggest that you come do a ride along with us. Oh. <laughs> that, way, that way you can see who we are. This is yeah. who we are. Yeah. You know how, many, how, we, many, how many people do you put in cuffs a week? I, I, if you want to answer that question, we can talk about it. We can do a ride along. Okay, give me your card. I'll do a ride along. Let's, let's see what you got. And then if I, if I have any kind of anger about abuse and mistreatment, then I'm full of hate. But so far, it's not getting better. It's getting worse. And what, what I mean by that is that way you can know who we are as people. As people? Yep. You signed up to take people to a dungeon, yep. bro. I, I want you to know who we are as, as a department. You, you signed know? up to take people to a dungeon, bro. Okay. You take people to a place that immediately they take off all your clothes and look up your backside. Do you think that's appropriate for not paying a parking ticket? Do you think that's appropriate because of, of a discharge? I've got a meeting. I've got to get back into it. You're not a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a meeting. I've got to get back Well, there he is, Chili DeCastro, in rare form. Man's got more energy than, uh, he's unbelievable. He really is unbelievable. I, I yet to see somebody so passionate, uh, with so much energy, you have no reason but to respect it. Because he's standing on what he believes. So, whether you agree with him or not, if you think he's too harsh, he goes overboard, well, it's freedom of speech. If it was all a polite conversation, there'd be no reason for the First Amendment. I didn't show the whole video here because I want you to go to Chili's page and watch it. It's Delete Laws. The link will be in the description. My name is Sodi Product News, which you and yours is a very safe and happy.